Hello everybody and welcome to this new video on uh, Excel and text functions within Excel. So I'm going to just walk through a bunch of different text functions. So let's say you have uh, uh, a name here like this Thomas Alva Ed Edison and I'm going to now first pull out the first six characters of this string. So I can say equals left and that will give me I need to specify the text and within the text I need to specify the number of characters. So I'm going to say six here and I'm going to get the first six characters. Just notice that there's a little quirk here. I have just deliberately put a blank at the start of this um, and that's why you're not getting the full name. You're getting the first six characters which includes the first blank. So now the next thing I would like to do is show you the next, the right seven characters equals right. And I'm going to show the same text, A4 and say seven. And that should give me, uh, I'm sorry. So so that should give me um, the seven final characters. Again, notice that Edison is only six characters but there is a blank in between that's also getting pulled in here. Now, uh, the third thing I would like to do is maybe I would like to trim all these additional spaces that I've deliberately left here. So you can see there is one single space to the left of T at the start. There are a few more spaces than required between Thomas and Alva, so I'm gonna take all that out. By the way, this entire thing is one single name, so it's one single name here. So I can just use the trim function, trim, and just give the name of the, uh, the cell of the text and that will give you a nice trimmed text with all the additional blanks taken out. Um, next, I can just try to extract some characters in the middle of my text. So, uh, and so I'm going to actually now use this particular string here. So I can say equals mid and I can say this is my text now. And in that I'm going to extract now just the middle name. So to extract the middle name, I need to find out what character it starts at. So Thomas is six characters plus one blank seven. So the middle name starts at the eighth character. And how many characters do I want? I want four characters thereafter. So A L V A. So I'm going to specify four. And so that gives me the middle name for this uh, in this particular example. I would like to count the number of characters in my string. I can just say length for length and I can just give the length of the original um, uh, text that I started out with. The length is 23 characters, but if I want to find the uh, number of characters in the trimmed string, I can actually use this particular uh, cell for that. Or I would also like to show you how to nest uh, functions within functions. So I'm going to say length, and within that I'm going to say trim, and within that I'm going to give the original name A4. So now the trim function is nested within the length function. So first I'm trimming the name, the original name, so that all the unnecessary blanks are removed and then I'm finding the length of that and that should give me a length of 18. The next thing I would like to find out is, for example, what's the number of the specific, of a particular character? So I can use the find method for this, F-I-N-D. And the first thing I need to find out is, uh, I need to supply is this text that I'm going to look for. So I'm going to look for the text O and I'm going to look for it within the text which is located in D8 because it's cleaner, it's been trimmed. And I can just close that there. And so now it gives me the, um, the location of that particular letter. So in this case, O is located at the third location in the uh, text on D8. Now, if you want to find out the last location of the last O, you can do that by saying find and uh, find text is again O comma and within the text uh, D8, but this time I'm going to specify a start number. So I'm going to tell Excel to start looking for the letter O in this text in D8 from starting from after the first five characters. So if I do that, it's going to give me 17 because O is now the 17th one after the first five characters. What else can we do? So we can actually concatenate um, uh, strings. So that means we can join together strings. So I have your Thomas and I have Edison, I'm going to concatenate it into one single uh, name. So I'm going to say concatenate and I can just type a little bit of it and hit tab and it will autocomplete that. So what's my first text? My first text is Thomas, comma, and my second text is Edison. And that's going to give me something funny, but let's take a look. So if you do that, it's going to just give me Thomas Edison like this, which is not, um, 
helpful for us. Uh, let me just make this a little smaller, which is not helpful for us because you need a blank space. So how do you ensure you put a blank space here? So you can actually put a uh, double quotes followed by a space and a double quotes followed by a comma. So the space which is enclosed in this double quotes here is uh, another string just like A1 and B1 and we are asking Excel to display that string in between A1 and B1 and that should give us a nice blank in between. Um, the next thing is uh, I would like to replace certain characters with certain other characters. So I'd like to replace characters in the spots three, four, five, and six with a couple of characters. So this is just to show that the number of characters that you're replacing need not equal the number of characters that are, um, you know, the new characters that are replacing the original characters. So, um, so the number of characters that are being replaced are four, the number of characters that are replacing them are only two, just to show that even that's okay. So you're replacing one set of characters with another set of characters. So how do you do that? You say replace, and as soon as you do that, you can see some helpful hint coming up. So what's the old text? The old text could be, I can just use the previous one. And the start number, I want to start with letter number three. And the number of characters is four because I'm saying three, four, five, and six. So there are four characters. And the new text I want to replace the these four characters with is a hash and a percent. And I put that in quotes and I close that. And that should give me something like this. Uh, uh, apologies to Thomas Edison, his nice name is being mangled here in the cause of teaching you Excel. So, okay, so how do you substitute one or more characters with some other characters? So you can use the word substitute here. So remember, replace is where you're replacing by specific location, whereas substitute is you're, you don't know the location, but you're just pulling out certain characters that may occur anywhere and you're replacing them or substituting them with other characters. So I begin with uh, the substitute function, substitute, and the text that I'm going to use is this one again. The old text that I would like to substitute is S, the letter S. The new text I would like to substitute that with is the letter dollar. And then I close my parenthesis. And now you have Thomas Edison, there's a dollar sign wherever there's an S. Uh, Thomas Edison made a lot of money, so definitely deserves a couple of dollars in his name. And um, supposing you want to only substitute only for the second occurrence of S, so how do you do that? So you can say substitute, and you can say once again text. Uh, the old text is S, the new text is dollar, but this time you say the instance number is the second instance. So you just, you're specifying the second instance that you want to substitute. And you can say you can, you know, so it'll just change the second instance of the dollar. What else can you do? You can change all letters to uppercase. So I can say equals upper and I can say, I can pass along this, uh, uh, the name here. Upper D14 makes all the characters uppercase. Um, lower makes it all lowercase. I can make it all lowercase. And the change to proper case, supposing I can take this particular example, the string on D19 and make sure that the first letter is capitalized or made to uppercase. So I can say proper, uh, and I can just give this a name here and it will convert that to proper case. So these are a few of the things that you can do. And uh, obviously, as I showed you, you can also combine uh, different methods with each other through nesting. So uh, with this, hopefully you can troubleshoot uh, most of your problems with uh, string manipulation in Excel. So that's it for now. I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much.